Yeah, this is all an accident. I've never made a video in my life before my very first video. I've never touched editing software. Also, chat, I, I give you guys permission to make fun of me. Guess the software I used to make my very first, like, 20 video thumbnails. This, this, this will show you how much I don't know how to do shit. Microsoft Editor, uh, no. Movie Maker, no. Paint, no. Oh, you know. PowerPoint. There it is! You guessed it! I made my very first 20 thumbnails in Microsoft PowerPoint. I didn't know how the fuck to do a thumbnail, and I'm like, I know how to use PowerPoint. No way. Bruh. Yes, it, bruh. But basically, the uh, I didn't know how to do a thumbnail. I'm like, PowerPoint's pretty all right. I full screened my PowerPoint thumbnail, took a screenshot of it, and then used it as the thumbnail. <laughs> Oh my god, that that shows you how much I don't fucking know what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know how this whole YouTube thing worked. I don't know how this shit worked. 100,000 Q and A. It came up way too quickly. I wanted to do this like I wanted to plan this out a little bit more, but oh my god, it came up way too quick. Why are you gay? Because men. Because yes. men exist. Men are great men. They said hi Dutch. Hello. There's, there's also a halo. <laughs> the halo's like really tall. Halo's really tall. <laughs> Hello. I look at the sip. I see the sippies in chat, dog. There, I see that. How you doing? I'm pretty good. I haven't really done too much today, honestly. I got up, got some Subway, because, uh, <laughs> Subway. Do you guys like the ball world? We can do this, or do you want to do a different one? I don't know. You like ball world, don't ya? Don't ya? Ball world's <laughs> amazing. I love the ball world, but it destroys your all bit rate. So if I, like, run through it really fast, it's going to just destroy everyone's bit rate on the stream. And I don't know how good that is for everyone. And when balls run through the actual thing, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think the first question is pineapple on pizza or not? I never had pineapple on pizza, but uh, I'll just say it's bad for the meme. Have you ever had pineapple on pizza? I don't I've never personally had it, but I just know it's a meme. I don't remember having it in the recent past, so I can't really say much, but I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm a fan. What if you put the pineapple on the pizza, then air fry the pineapple on the pizza? I wonder how that will turn out. Oh that, God. that might be awful. That's what probably awful. Fluff. How did you and Dutch meet? And what made you realize I want to be with this fluff? Short story? Telegram. Uh, Telegram. Short story, Telegram. Long story. So back in when I was in my college days, we had a, a furry Telegram chat just for our own, uh, you know, university and stuff. And Dutch didn't go to my university. And somehow he joined a university only Telegram chat. And that's how basically <laughs> how we met. So it was basically pure chance that we met. There was a lot of factors that went into it. There really was. So what made you realize I want to be with this fool? Well, well, we were playing Destiny 2 and his voice was too good. No, <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> Did you know he was gay when you wanted to? I'm an American. Yes, we, yeah, he was, yeah, I knew he was gay. He was, he's very gay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go boop the halo. I will go hunt down the. Oh, okay. Okay, he flew out. Okay, I, I owe you a boop from Andrew. What got you guys into the fandom? Disney. Too much Disney. But, like, the fandom, like, what got you into it? How did you, like, probably, like, how did you discover it? I didn't know. So, I always liked the art. Yeah, I always liked the art style for a few years. And then I didn't know there was a whole community behind it. I think I went through the house pet comics and started finding more stuff like that. Because I think I really like this art style. It's kind of cute and stuff. I didn't know there's a community behind it. I thought I was like the only one who's like, oh, this is kind of cool. Lucario is kind of cute, not gonna lie. I'd say for me, I didn't know the fandom was a thing until like I was a Minecraft mod on a server where one of the other mods was a furry and like in one of the VCs and they're like, oh, so and so is about to join, watch out, they're a furry. I'm like, what's a furry? They like <laughs> describe it. And then I like talked to this guy and he was really cool. And I was like, I vibe well with this. I like it. And then you know, it was history from there. Fucking furry. How did you get into coding in the first place? High school. High school, I learned uh, Java in high school. It was fine. I was fucking awful at coding in high school because back in high school, I didn't give a shit about grades or anything. I basically just played Call of Duty all the time in Clash of Clans. But yeah, no, coding is fun because it's like, I like doing the whole problem solving things, but doing it for like hours on end kind of like put, ends up putting me in a bad mood and like brain dead. Doing it as a job makes it not really as fun to do your hobbies of the same things. That's why I ended up just doing this pretty much. If you couldn't do IT anymore, or what other jobs could you see yourself doing? So actually, it was basically the thing of a coin flip for what I was going to major in college. It was either going to be like cybersecurity or like IT stuff or be a veteran vet. So I guess I'd say vet. I like animals, but I don't I don't know if I ever <laughs> like blood and stuff type of thing. How to be the gayest fluke ever? Uh, telegram. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to have a different persona, what would it be? I might do a snap. Snaps are kind of cute. I like snaps. Snaps are pretty poggies. I'd probably be a snap. Mm. Fish. Oh yeah, fish sona. Yes, fish. Fish. Yes. Fish. Fish. 
you. Cheese sandwich or ham sandwich? So there's mutually exclusive or something? I mean, you can put you can put cheese on, but I mean, I don't know. Can you have both? You no, no, only cheese, only cheese. I don't know. I like tur turkey sandwiches, man. <laughs> if you could come back to say something to yourself from three to four years ago, what would it be and why? Mmm. Three to four years ago, say if it was high school, I'd probably say focus on grades and actually try to learn and not play video games like I did all in high school. But three to four years, I was, I was still in college and stuff, but it was like, I mean, probably try to, I don't know, stay stay with your college friends after uh, leaving college, even though it's kind of hard because everyone literally scatters across the country. So there's not much you can do and everyone's hours away, but yeah. Why are you gay? <laughs> Men. Men. Yes. Men. <laughs> What are your favorite genres other than VR chat? First person shooters are pretty all right. Um, I just don't really play competitive games anymore, honestly. I don't know. I like strat <laughs> strategy games, I guess, are kind of fun. I can get really into strategy games. Like, you can like, do like Factorio and like optimizing. That stuff can keep me hooked for hours. Same with like strategy games like chess. I could play that literally the entire day if I didn't have to eat or do anything, man. What made you start your YouTube career? Uh, I was bored as f over COVID, stuck with my parents, and needed some way to do something that's not coding and stuff. Because that's basically my job now. And I need to have some a hobby that's completely different than my actual job. I know, if Dutch and I never found VR chat, probably wouldn't have ever made, made the channel or anything. What is your favorite color of all colors? Red. Easy. Red. <laughs> I'll, I'm not gonna, I've been like I've been liking purple recently. I've been liking purple. I don't know. It kind of just works with everything. What's your favorite meal? Hamburger every single time. I could literally eat hamburgers for years if it wasn't detrimental to my health. <laughs> health. How do you guys feel about this milestone? A lot of fucking people. That's what I gotta say. You know how many stadiums I can fill? That's a lot of stadiums, like man. Yeah. <laughs> like how many balls do you have in this pit? It's probably like 20k, maybe a little more in this pit. It's like huh. five ball pits of people. That's a lot of ball pits. <laughs> It's a lot of balls. My initial goal for this channel was to get like a 10,000 views on a single video because that was so my friend made a funny video that he uploaded got like 10,000 views like okay I need to, I need to try to beat that I need to try to beat that so I was only planning on making like five videos or something but then after like four or five videos we hit like a thousand subs and everything I'm like oh crap I guess I keep going on this. It just my manager's I'm, who the f is throwing balls in my face so much Jesus Christ. God damn it, what? Off with the balls, God! <laughs> Keep throwing it, come on. You got it, you got, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, f Oh. What made you think that Dutch, me, me, is the person you wanna be with? He's cute, he's always there for me and stuff. I don't know. It, it, it's Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to describe why you love people and stuff. So that's why I'm like, I, I, it's hard. I'm not good with that type of question. It's like, why do you like hamburgers? Because they taste good. How did you come up with the idea of being a YouTuber and how did you realize you like boys after all? Okay, I have a screenshot of me from 2018 saying, wow, I'd really fucking hate to be a YouTuber. And here I am two years later from that. Uh, it's, it's, it's all right. It's a little stressful. There's a lot of drama. When, it, when you do it, I, I just do this for fun. This isn't my life. It's just kind of enjoyable. It's something different besides just coding stuff for my no normal job every day, man. Kind of stressful when you make something and you, and you know like 40,000 people are going to see it and judge the shit out of you. So I'm like, uh. Is Monty a certified poppy for no. an cutie? No. Yes, there's a YouTube play button that says no. So. No, where is that then, huh? Where's it at? I don't see it. It's coming. Like Bowser. <laughs> Fish or no fish? Very fish. Very slimy fish. Yes, 100% fish. That's an easy answer. Fish. fish. Would you rather turn the whole world into their personas, or you could switch between human and persona form at will? For people who don't have personas, though. I mean, if you don't have a persona, then you don't switch, and then are we going to have to get used to everyone being their personas all the time and stuff? I mean, I mean, pe having people switch out, become their personas, that'd be kind of cool. I don't know how society would like it. I don't know if it would turn into like a war or something and get the furries versus the non furries. You got the one uh -huh. guy's persona who's like a 20 foot tall monster persona who's gonna just destroy cities. You got that guy. I'd probably just say have people switch in their personas so more people can do what they want. That'd be like Danny Phantom stuff from our Hannah Montana. <laughs> That's what fur suits are for. What's the best thing about being a furry? You can be fluffy, you can be a, a completely different person than, you can, than your professional life pretty much. I don't have to be, you know, a businessy person who has to send very professional emails to people. I can just be a dog and then do dumb shit and bark at people. Go ooh ooh oh well bark bark. Yeah, bark bark. You can run up to people and go bark 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 and can make people uncomfortable. Have you ever tried alternatives to VR chat like chill out VR? And if so, what do you what did you think of them? I tried Neos one time, got into a world, got absolutely ear blasted and stuff thrown in my face and 
got super nauseous and never touched it again. <laughs> what are some tips for first time con goers? Probably get your group of friends. Uh, find roommates that you actually trust because if you get a bad roommate who wants to just like <laughs> all the time in the room and you just want to relax, that's probably not the best. Probably a medium size or like not MFF con as your first con. Drink a lot of water. The one, the one thing is when you try to go eat at cons, you always end up getting like a plus like six whenever you try to go. He's like, hey, I'm gonna go eat. You want to come with me? And then you find like four more people. And then those four people ask more people to come along. So yeah. you end up having like 20 people go to a restaurant and then restaurants don't serve people of that party size. It's hard. You can't really plan things like that con. You kind of just have to go with the flow, honestly. Where and how did you come up? with your persona of Monty the Wolf, and was Monty the Wolf the only Sona you've had? I really like red and black things, uh, like red and black like color scheme, pretty much. When I first became a furry in like 2018, I was like, oh yeah, let's go on like, let's start looking up pictures on like Anthrocon and stuff, and see a bunch of like people's badges and their <laughs> cute art and stuff. So I was going through, I was like, oh, there's a red and black wolf, that's kind of cool. And then so like, oh, there's a bunch of other red and black wolves, so I started liking their all designs and stuff, and it's kind of made my own thing. I got like the red and black like nose, got the under the eyes. I, like, I, I kept seeing them all have like red and black tips on the ears, like, okay, let's just do red and black tips on the ears, pretty much. How long have you been a furry? Uh, since 2018, officially. I've always liked the art style, probably since, like, ninth grade, probably. I liked the art style since, like, ninth grade, but, uh, I didn't know what a furry was until 2018. What do you dislike about the fandom? There can be a lot of drama, I guess. Yeah, that's probably my least thing with the fandom and, like, YouTube and stuff. I don't know, it's like, oh, like, how dare you use the same idea that I used, like, years ago or something, or, like, I don't know. If you have any non-furry friends, do they know you're a furry? If so, how do they react when they first found out? All my college friends knew I was a furry. I didn't really care. I just, I, I just, it was basically one day I changed my profile picture to whatever the house ca pet character is, whatever the, the tan dog. They didn't really care too, too much because they're like, Haha, look, it's a furry. And I was like, okay, yeah, they'll forget about it within a week anyway. What tags do you usually have whenever you're doing Omegle? TikTok and furry, most of them. TikTok, you get a bunch of, a, fun, a bunch of normies, but a lot of them are NPCs. Furry, you find either furries <laughs> like 20% of the time or furry haters 80% of the time, pretty much. Regular socks or thigh highs? Not gonna lie, I've never wore th thigh highs before. I wouldn't say no if someone got me thigh highs. I wouldn't say no. Mm -hmm. Would you ever get your own merch? I'm starting to kind of look at that, honestly. I saw that everyone's starting to get merch now. I'm just like, I should at least, you know, try. But I don't want to be one of those people who just grabs a logo and slaps what? on a shirt for 40 bucks and sells it. I want to, you know, actually kind of design stuff a little bit. Why is fish? Because Feraldi was delayed an hour and we were trying to find some way to, to cure our boredom for an hour with friends. So we started going fish while <laughs> jumping. What is the funniest thing you two can recall experiencing together? When we were doing the whole dinosaur thing at MFF. I love that. So much the whole dinosaur running around in the comments kind of great. What's the dumbest thing you've ever done? High school, I spent all night working on a project. Uh, we we're creating a cell and forgot to bring it in the next morning. <laughs> That's one of the dumbest things Ooh. I've done. What, in your opinion, is the best part of the furry fandom? Creativity, I guess. Having conventions with a bunch of people who are like know how to party. Like, furries are socially really socially awkward, but they know how to throw good parties. The raves at Anthrocon and MFF are mmm, mmm, they're great. They're great. They're, they're top tier. They're, they're awesome. Are there people inside your walls? Uh, I'm pretty sure my neighbor hears me yell all this gay shit all the time, and I don't know how much they actually can hear of it. Chat's in my walls, oh no. Yes, chat is in my walls. Do you have any advice for people first creating their personas? You can probably go on look at a bunch of people's ref sheets. Don't copy it or like trace it, but you can get like, you can be like, oh, th yeah, yeah, you can- You can get inspiration, but just don't copy. There's only so much like face designs you can have on a Sona too. There's only so many like markings you could put on a face and stuff. I mean, you can get inspiration for stuff. Don't like copy or paste it. Just like, yeah, you know, just look up a bunch of people's ref sheets. What is your opinion on beans? Great, fantastic, 100% yeah. recommend. Beans are fantastic. You can just take the beans. Is the <laughs> camera still here? The camera is still here. Hello, take them, take them. What made you two come up with your Sona names? He's Dutch. I'm not actually. <laughs> I basically just like made the color layout, I'd say. And then I posted it on, on Reddit. And I was like, what should I name? And someone said, it looks like a Dutch. And I'm like, I'm it's gonna a do Dutch. that. It's a Dutch. <laughs> Is it stressful being popular with all the fans and subs? Yeah, that, that, that's why I don't do a face reel because I still like my privacy. If I'm in CES, you guys can come and bother me. But like, that, that's what, that's one reason why I don't, don't really want to do a face reveal just because like, hey, I still like to, you know, kind of hang out with my normal friends and just be normal and stuff and just kind of hang out with people type of thing at cons, so. How has content creation affected you personally? 
very stressful. At least it gives, it, the good thing about content, there's always something you could be doing. There's always something you could be doing. So if you want like a hobby or something that kind of like, there's not really any downtime. You can always be like either streaming or like editing a video or finding like someone to like, like sponsors and stuff or coming up with ideas. But that's also like another thing. So it's like, you can never like truly relax on like a vacation because you're always like thinking about content stuff. What's your dream house like? Uh, it's basically a VR chat world, honestly. Sovereign chill home, probably top to your house. Nice top of a skyscraper with a nice overview with you got your pool, you got your giant bed, you got your giant mirror in the house. Literally, it's my, my, yeah, my, my design whenever I get my own place is literally just going to be a f***ing VR chat world. What is the worst day you had in 2022? Uh, I lost my wallet at MFF for a, a, an hour or two and it was f***ing awful because I don't lose shit ever. I went through my entire college career with the same pen and pencil all four years on every single exam I've taken. Like, I don't lose shit and I was pissed I lost it. It somehow got lodged in between the handle of my uh, Pelican case. Don't know how it got stuck in there, but we couldn't find it for like two or three hours and I was pissed. Dream vacay with Dutch. What would that look like? Hawaii seems kind of cool. Hawaii is pretty cool because it got phone reception and like American phone reception. Cruises are pretty cool, but there's no phone reception, man. <laughs> I, I think I think going on a cruise would be kind of cool. Here's a good one. Have you ever barked at someone or gave someone an uwu who you shouldn't have, like your mom? I uwu'd at my coworkers before, <laughs> but they're weebs, so that they didn't really they want uwu back because they're complete weebs. <laughs> so the thing that's kind of weird. So basically, my cat is very aggressive and hasn't learned like manners a lot of the time. So he doesn't like what's bad and stuff around mom's like you gotta hiss at him and stuff so my mom's just hissing at the f***ing cat a lot of the time i'm like oh god it's weird how do you feel about your streams and videos making some people realize that they are furries and also <laughs> getting people interested in vr conversion speed run i don't know i think it's kind of funny it's kind of funny make it, making people realize that they're furries i don't know <laughs> make people do unhealthy financial decisions like buy vr headsets and buy fursuits and art and stuff but yeah when's the baby due i don't know we'll, we'll see i don't know if it, if it's anatomically <laughs> possible but we'll see We'll see. We can keep trying. Do you prefer VR chat or do you prefer fursuiting? Hmm, probably fursuiting, honestly. Fursuiting is nice, but it's a pain in the ass to, you know, get in and out of and take care of and everything. But fursuiting is a lot more fun because you can do a lot more than VR stuff, honestly. What would be your ideal date with Dutch? I don't know. I mean, we could go to the, I want to go to the melting pot at Anthrocon. It's just expensive and it's a little bit of a drive away. If you could have, have had anything at all, fictional or not, what would it be? My persona. My bright future, because that's fictional. Death from Puss in Boots. <laughs> <gasps> yes. <laughs> Prove your love by hugging Dutch. Come here, Halo. If you could, would you go to a popular sport in person? Oh, I would. I would love to go to hockey game in first seat. I would love to go to hockey. I don't know if I'd be allowed to, but I would love to. Are there any outward hints that you give to the rest of the world that you're a furry? Oh, I wear my furry jacket to work every single day. I wear it around every everywhere. Yeah, I literally always walk around with a furry hoodie on all the time. I had a bad dragon sticker on my car for a little bit. Do you have any favorite? shows. I like Mr. Robot. Oh, Mr. Robot. Mr. So Robot's good. good. Mr. Robot's good. If space visits become com uh, commercially available and affordable, would you want to visit space? I think that would be really cool. I, I'd like to visit. I wouldn't like to live there. I'd be like Jeff Bezos and ride out on the penis rocket, like the very low atmosphere, so you can say that you're technically an astronaut even though you barely broke the, the, the atmosphere. What are your guys' first consoles? Mine was the Wii. Uh, first GameCube? Well, oh, yours, Halo. PlayStation 2. PlayStation hey. 2 got it for Christmas. When Wait, did the Game Boy SP come out before the GameCube? Oh no, I had I had Game Boy Color. I had a Game Boy Color. The standard Starbucks coffee order. Ooh, JT got me on the whole caramel latte thing. I kind of like caramel lattes, but a lot. Of, <laughs> not gonna lie, a lot of the time I do just get a basic iced coffee. That's literally all. Just I'm pretty basic. What is your guys' biggest fear? Maybe like heights. Okay, I hate heights. Ferris wheels. I, I I will literally ride anything. I hate Ferris wheels. I can literally ride any single fucking roller coaster out there. But Ferris wheels, I hate it because they're all so rickety and you're not know, really moving. You're just kind of chilling there really high up. I hate Ferris wheels. Any recommendations on things to wear at a fur con if you don't have a fur suit? A furry hoodie? Uh, anything with animals on it, honestly. Uh, yeah, there's a, you can buy a bunch of merch there. You don't have to. You don't have to if you don't want, no. <laughs> you have to. You definitely should. Anyways, thank you for the 100k also, by the way. Is there anything you guys want to say to the camera before we go so I can stall? Y'all are cute. Bork. Bork, bark, arf, sniff. Hecking sniff. Hecking sniff, and bye bye Ooh, subscribe to Monty Wolf. Woo!